matchup from the heartland today. St. Louis coming out in the white. Just the fifth meeting between these two Jesuit schools. The Billikens have won three, they've lost one. Their most recent get together was two years ago with Slew getting the victory in Chestnut Hill. B7, five in double figures for BC. The game really wasn't that close. 10 to shoot, and the first shot falls. That's just a two-pointer for Jaden Zachary, the freshman from Wisconsin. Did you see the block out by Linson? He was like a road grader. Here's Yuri Collins, the sophomore from right here in St. Louis, who scoops it up and in from Worcester, Mass. Drawing the Eagles to within two. Collins spinning, hitting, and a chance for the three-point play. It's interesting watching this got a report develop. If I'm playing Yuri Collins, I am always going to go underneath screens, and I try to stay between he and the basket. Quinton oh. Post in for Boston College, one of two seven-footers on their roster. They don't need him here as Kanye Jones, the freshman from Orlando, hits the game's first triple. Uh, really, it's the result that matters. Both really looking for a win. And that one rolls around and in. That's a good cut by Jones, who gets by Jimerson to lay it up and in, and he's got five points. BC squad has two seven-footers on their roster, one of only four teams nationally that can claim that. As Terrence Hardgrove knocks down the first one from beyond the arc for St. Louis. Much with the perimeter shooting of either team. That's why that perimeter D is going to be so important. Gibson Jimerson knocks down the three. And, and a big block by Akora, the leading shot blocker on this St. Louis squad. Now TJ Bickerstaff almost tumbling as he tried to throw that one up. And now Yuri Collins is gonna take it all the way inside. A left knee ACL. As Nesbitt sizes up the three and he plants it. And I spent a week with him then, so I'm very familiar. Gibson Jimerson, his second three-point basket. Timeout, Boston College. He's quiet, but yet still a leader. As James Karnick gets inside and gets it to roll home. And he took responsibility for each of the last two losses. Says Hargrove will have a chance for the three-point play. Oh, no, they're going to call it the other way. You know, beautiful footwork by Karnick. He got set. That's an easy one. Yuri Collins on the alley-oop for Akora. With two minutes left to go first half. Look, I like the dunk. I love the delivery. Collins finding an open thatch. Wouldn't be surprised if he gets involved. Collins to Jimerson instead. And he hits the corner three. On the turnaround, DeMar Lankford finally gets one to drop for Boston College as the horn sounds. Fest itself, Tim, it's one thing to say it. How does it get implemented? Well, it's it's up to the players to get excited, and I, I see some energy there. And quickly, Collins getting inside after hitting his first three of the game. I'm not familiar with this BC offense right here. They're so much better than what they've shown. Turnover by St. Louis. That's nine on the game now for the Billikens. Makai Ashton Lankford finishing on the other end. And we've still got over 14 minutes left to go here in St. Louis. Ashton Lankford gets to the rack of St. Louis's 11 assists on the day. Hargrove again inside. Hargrove with the shot clock winding down. Kanye Jones ahead to Bickerstaff. Two years ago, shot 43% from three-point range. Second best freshman percentage in school history. Yuri Collins with the shot clock in single digits finds Nesbitt in the corner for his third triple. 
Kanye Jones. And an offensive foul against Jones. Per game. Their first seven games this year, they scored over 70 points. So you're right. Acrobatic shot made by Makai Ashton Lankford the line or Chapel Hill, but so many appealing qualities. How about that? Collins to Agora. Not the first time we've seen it today, but still as efficient as ever. Yeah. Gibson Jimerson leading all scores on the night with 19 points. And what a way to finish up with that. Hargrove, Thunderbolt.